In Hollywood, if a film is a major hit, it is usually followed up with a sequel. This can either work or be a massive failure. There are many films which can actually outdo the first film, although this can be a rare occurrence. During the 70s, disaster films were at their peak. Owen Allen at this time was widely known for his disaster epics. Soon after The Poseidon Adventure in 1973, he proposed a sequel which would be about the survivors testifying at a hearing for the disaster in Austria. While traveling on a train heading to the hearing, our survivors would be trapped in a mile-long mountain tunnel. After it collapses, they would have to make their way out of the tunnel. Although this idea was dropped by Alan, the premise would later be used by director Rob Cohen for the disaster film Daylight in 1996, which would star Sylvester Stallone. Owen Allen would have a number of ideas for a Poseidon adventure follow-up. Most of his ideas would usually fall to the wayside and nothing would become of them. During an interview with Erwin Allen by critic Roger Ebert in January of 1979, Allen told Ebert the collapsed tunnel idea, although instead of Austria, he set it in Italy. Allen asked Ebert what he thought. Ebert told him that he had a better idea. Ebert said, after everybody fights his or her way to the top or bottom of the boat, surviving fires and floods and explosions, Another big tidal wave comes along and turns the great ship over again, and so the hapless survivors have to retrace their steps. Alan thought that this idea made no sense, because it would be impossible to get the original cast to return, and some of the original cast members like Shelley Winters and Gene Hackman were killed. Erwin Allen would incidentally bring parts of Ebert's idea into the sequel, Beyond the Poseidon Adventure in 1979. Paul Gallico, who wrote the original novel of the Poseidon Adventure, was asked to write the sequel. The story would feature a new group of people entering the steel capsized ship. This novel would be made into a second film. In response, Gallico wrote Beyond the Poseidon Adventure, which was published in 1978. The film version, however, bared little resemblance to his book. Instead of the ship sinking, the ship would explode. Many ideas were proposed, including even having a tiger loose on the ship, with an underwater volcano erupting and destroying the ship at the end. Another idea for the sequel was to have Gene Hackman return, but he would play the role of his character's twin brother, flying in a helicopter toward the floating upside-down Poseidon to rescue his brother. The plot for the finished film would start during the morning after the Poseidon's disastrous night, with tugboat captain and his two sidekicks boarding the overturned Poseidon to seek fortune, only to find leftover survivors who did not drown. Things are made even more complicated when a rival salvage party, after money, gold and plutonium, enter the ship. The script went through constant revisions and various versions of the script, throughout filming, with new pages arriving for the scenes on the very day they were due to shoot. To cast the film, there were many choices to play the lead role, including Burt Reynolds and Clint Eastwood. They both would reject the role. John Wayne was even offered the lead role, but changed his mind when he saw the script. Owen Allen finally decided on Michael Caine for the lead as Captain Mike Turner. Caine had just worked with Allen on The Swarm in 1978, which was a dismal failure. As with most of Erwin Allen's productions, he had a huge cast of notable actors. Sally Field would star as a leading lady. Field has since stated that this role was the least favorite role of all her movies, and she did it mainly for the paycheck. Telly Savalas would play the main villain, Dr. Stefan. Other notables included Carl Molden, Peter Boyle, Angela Cartwright, who starred in Irwin Allen's TV show Lost in Space, Jack Warden, Shirley Knight, Shirley Jones, Slim Pickens, and a very young Mark Harmon, playing, of all things, an elevator operator. Before shooting the film, the cast had to learn how to scuba dive. Beyond the Poseidon Adventure would be Irwin Allen's final film. Sadly, the film was a critical and commercial failure, bombing at the box office 
and it would be the only Alan disaster film not to receive an Academy Award nomination. Yes, even Alan's flop, The Swarm, was nominated for Best Costume Design. Beyond the Poseidon Adventure was, however, nominated for one award for Worst Picture at the Hastings Bad Cinema Society's Second Stinkers Bad Movie Awards in 1979. After the movie was released, actress Angela Cartwright was quoted as saying that she was disappointed by certain aspects of the film and she realised it was really only a film about water, fire and stunts. This of course was Owen Allen's trademark, earning him the title of the Master of Disaster. The cast in this film is actually great and the performances in Beyond the Poseidon Adventure aren't all that bad. But as usual, with most of Owen Allen's productions, the characters take a back seat and become a part of the background, with his films putting much more emphasis on explosions and special effects. Beyond the Poseidon Adventure is a needless sequel to the Poseidon Adventure. For one, how the hell could there be any survivors on the ship after the first film? Michael Caine is as usual great, putting in a very likeable performance, even in a piece of crap like this film. Sally Field is fine, but just seems out of place. The support cast is great, but all these performances go by the wayside and cannot save this terrible film. It's just awful, and a film you would want to forget. This film demonstrates that not all sequels succeed. We sadly are living in a time where sequels, remakes and reboots are the norm, and originality has taken a back seat. There are, however, many great small budget filmmakers with fresh and original ideas that are waiting to be discovered. I am optimistic. My name is Jonathan, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already.